that was looking at roads and pads and utilities and all that sort of thing to get that up and running. And you know, if and when y'all get that up and running, that's going to make a huge difference on the income revenue. So where's the uh, where's the budget for fixing up the, the existing pads? That's what I don't see that. Uh, like for the electrical, the plumbing, and. Oh, I don't guess we made a projection on that particular thing. I, were y'all going to do any of that this year, Ronald? Uh, do we get a plan? I don't know. I mean, the existing RVs. Were we going to go in and put some new electrical or plumbing on there? Or are they just as is until. Until they got a plan? Yeah, until they got a plan. Well, the architect should be coming in. Yeah. Pretty soon on that to give us the That's plan what on, what we on do. the cabins and the, uh, or the old existing RV plant, right? Which is going to determine how much we're going to need. Yeah. Uh, there again, a lot of the work can be done by the, the city's crews. Mm -hmm. with, yeah. We can do our own plumbing and and uh, we may have to farm out the electrical work. We don't have a certified electrician, but uh, most of the manual stuff and the plumbing in, can be done. And, uh, you know, as far as just eliminating some sites, it'll just be killing off the surfaces and removing the meters and stuff. And then and the it, it's not going to be a true cost of thing. And the cabin furniture has been based on what he's done his first few with the farm. And the furniture, how much is called for the furniture bill with the remaining. Now this may be a longer range budget than just the next fiscal year right. because of, you know, the, that 300,000 RV slots could be two years from now could be put the ground mm -hmm. But we thought we'd give you all an idea of what, you know, the cost projections are probably going to be in that area. Okay, if there's no more questions.